What's up guys, Shade Tree Surgeon back again, wondering what you do after you work so hard to achieve your goals. You put in those blood, sweat, and tears, and you finally finish that enduro race. You did it! You've done it! You've crossed the finish line. Ooh. Wow. So what's next? The next race, of course. Yeah, I hope you guys didn't think that this was a one-time deal. My goal right now is to try and do as many hair scrambles and enduros as I possibly can this season. I'm definitely not the kind to rest on my laurels. I'm always looking to what's next, so let's get into it. But real quick before I get into that, I just want to tell all you guys watching, all you guys who watched my last video and commented on it, thank you so much much. The support I received on that video was unprecedented. And support from people who are longtime racers, from people who are newbies, from people who've never rode dirt at all, to other people who are on a weight loss journey like I am. It was really, really, for lack of a better word, humbling. I didn't even know how to respond to a lot of them, but I read every single comment on there and all the support I got just I, it made me feel so good. I promise you, I treasured every comment on that video. <laughs> Gay! Because a lot of them were really long. I could tell a lot of you guys put a lot of thought into this and left me a long, heartfelt comment that you've been watching my progress and you've been seeing how I've been doing and a lot of you guys offered tips and advice and it was just, it feels just so good, you know, like every comment on that video was like a tiny virtual hug I never got from my dad. Anyway, let me cut it off right there before we delve too far into the psyche of Shade Tree Surgeon. What I'm trying to say is, thanks guys. This wouldn't be shit without y'all supporting me, and I appreciate it more than I know how to put into words. Back to the matter at hand, tomorrow's race. This one's gonna be a little different for me. If you guys have been keeping up with me on my Instagram stories, you'll know that I actually injured my shoulder a little bit in uh, last week's race. And it's, it's starting to feel a little better, but uh, out on practice on Monday, I definitely tweaked it a couple times. You guys might have seen that video. It'll be coming out before this one. So I'm definitely going to have to adjust my strategy a little bit in tomorrow's race because if I mess up my shoulder real bad in the middle of the race, I'm not going to be able to finish it. So instead of scrambling for every second and trying to make up every little bit of speed wherever I can, the strategy tomorrow is to be smooth and easy. I'm not really sure how it's going to work out. Um, pushing up is what really kills this shoulder right now. Um, I can ride just fine, it's just when the handlebars get really out of sorts uh, and it pulls my shoulder out, that's when I run into trouble and it starts to hurt really bad. I think I need a steering stabilizer that probably help a lot, but pretty much everybody who sells those is awful proud of them. So I'm not gonna be getting one for a little while. Even with the injury, I'm really looking forward to the experience because riding with an injury and still being able to push through and make it, that's a part of racing. Everybody I talk to who races on a regular basis, they have minor injuries and small things that can be exasperated into larger injuries that they have to take an account when they go out to a race. So I'm gonna have to do that too, I'm no exception. So I'm hoping this shoulder doesn't keep me from finishing, but there's only one way to find out. Enough about all my old man aches and pains. Let's take a quick look at the bike and we'll see all the stuff that I put on it last week. I'm gonna talk about what did work and what didn't work. What did work? My stupid ghetto electrical tape numbers. Believe it or not, there was a few kindred spirits there. I even saw one that was actually spray painted on the bike. So much to my surprise, I didn't actually have the worst looking numbers there. And once again, if you're keeping up with me on Instagram stories, I put out a poll asking if you wanted me to stick with the ghetto tape numbers or if you wanted me to grab real numbers. And everybody, everybody said stick with the ghetto tape. Stick with the ghetto tape. So. For right now, that's what we're gonna be rocking. I think what I'm gonna do is when I actually do a little better and I finish a race that I'm happy with, that I feel like I was competitive in, I'm gonna reward myself with an actual graphics kit. 
All right, something that didn't work very well, these Fastway hand guards. I got these because they're supposed to be way stronger than regular ones, in so much that they don't actually, they, they attach normally here like hand guards, but then instead of clamping to the handlebar, what they do is they actually provide you with handlebar clamps that these things tie into. It's a really neat system, and it's supposed to be way stronger than uh, than your regular ones that just that just clamp to the bar. Now here's the problem. In theory, that's great. In practice, these things were freaking awful, man. This one in particular, I came down on it not that hard. It completely twisted out of shape. It completely bent. This thing uh, absolutely moved even though I have it torqued down as tight as I can get it. This moved on the mount. Um, these, <laughs> these flat guards that they provide immediately ripped off. They actually provided two sets of them. They ripped right off. They, these screws, they ripped right out when after one crash, I was, I, I was missing one. I left one on the race course. I had to, this is the spare that came with it. And then this one had ripped out one of them. I replaced it. I have no idea if these things are gonna hold up. Uh, for this race or not. I'm gonna try not to crash as much, but these things are made for crashes. Like they should hold up to a crash and they were about 160 bucks. Let's see if we can focus on that. Really, really soft, crappy fasteners that, that start to round off. Even in here, I had to I had to try to tighten this down a couple times because this whole thing was moving in here and you can see where that thing's tore up. It just, just just cheap and, and I gotta tell you, I'm really, really disappointed in the quality. I think 100% not worth the money. And so I'm not gonna replace them because I still did spend $160 on them and I can't send them back. So they're gonna be on the bike and pissing me the fuck off for the foreseeable future because they're all cockeyed now. One's like way higher than the other one. Pretty annoying, but I'm still determined to get my money's worth out of them. So another little farkle I've got installed on this bike is the Midwest Mountain Engineering Easy Pull Clutch Lever. Now, I put this on here because I really I really like to use one finger, and I could with the stock lever, but my I was starting to get complete muscle failure in that one finger. So I got this one, and it is slightly easier to pull, I'll definitely say that. The problem comes is when you're doing very low speed maneuvers, they achieve that easier pull by changing how far you have to pull it to disengage the clutch. So for the clutch to be completely disengaged, this has to be pulled all the way in. Now, that's a problem because when you try to pull it all the way in with one finger, there's there's not enough room. You, you, you can't on these bars. You can't pull it all the way in. So I've been a lot more prone to stalling when doing super low speed stuff and jabbing the rear brake because I can't pull this clutch all the way in with one finger. It's fine when you're going fast. It's fine when you're going fast. So the verdict's out on this one. I'm still not sure if uh, this is gonna work for me, but I think I'm gonna run it one more race and see how it does. And then uh, after that, I'm gonna switch back to the stock lever for a race and kind of compare the two and see which one I want. Because the stock lever, I could manipulate with one finger no problem. Just like pulling it about halfway in would disengage, disengage the clutch enough that I wouldn't stall at low speed maneuvers. So verdict's out on this one. I'll let you guys know in a couple more videos what I actually think. Which is important because this stupid little piece is $80. They are really proud of that. I'm positive it's not gonna come out on camera, but going through this foggy field down a dirt road with that full moon hanging low in the sky seems so freaking cool. Makes me think I'm on my way to something awesome. Woke up about 5 a.m. and I'm going down the dirt road that hopefully leads to where this race is. Visibility is about zero, so I'm not sure what the fuck is going on. The farther south you get, the flatter it is, and even up here it's pretty flat, but at least here in the middle of the state we get a little bit of elevation change. Whew, everything's going smooth so far. 
but I'm leaving plenty of room for air. I can't get over how pretty this place is. You don't get a whole lot of elevation changes in Florida, so when you see something like this, it stands out a little bit. Yeah, heading up to do tech inspection right now. Oh, nerves are not as high as the last race. I guess that's to be expected, but the fact that I don't have the same level of nerves as I did the last time is also freaking me out. <laughs> it can't win for trying, I guess. Or maybe the reason I'm a little calmer is just because I've, I've told myself I'm not gonna try to rip it as hard as I possibly can out here today. I'm just gonna try to take it smooth and easy and not fuck up my shoulder. Thanks for coming back, man. Oh, are you kidding me? Not as many stupid questions this time <laughs> for my sophomore effort. It's my second one ever, man. I did the one uh, uh, last month or uh, two weeks ago and out for a second time oh yeah man i had so much fun i came by myself the last one i got some friends coming up to this one but it's like i've never met nicer people in my life man like oh my god yeah <laughs> as any good family does thank you sir it's just it's hard to describe the mood out here is just electric like so many people all in the same place all here to do the same thing Everybody just loves dirt bikes and they like riding them fast. <laughs> I mean, it sounds so stupid simple, but there it is. That's what everybody's here to do. We got people from all over the world too. Uh, this is my neighbor here. His name is Giuseppe and uh, he lives half the year in Italy, half the year in here in Florida and he does FTR races when he's here. I think that's pretty damn cool. I just found out that my race mentor, Ty, who you saw in last race episode, is not gonna make it. He just texted me and said, he's got the flu, he's not gonna be here, and I don't know what I'm gonna do without my Wooby. I'm so alone. Anyway, I've had about six terror-induced pisses so far, but looks like I'm gonna have to do this one on my own. Probably a good thing at the end of the day. <laughs> well, the fact that Ty isn't gonna be here is definitely ratcheting my nerves up to where I thought they should be. So I feel worse and better? I guess technically things haven't changed, they've just shifted. Yeah, I really enjoyed that video last night. Oh, no shit, man. Thanks, dude. I'm gonna try not to crash as much this time. So far, it definitely seems like terrain I'm used to. Kind of sandy, some roots. This is stuff Josh has done before. <laughs> that mud course was definitely something else. Definitely some elevation changes you gotta watch out for. Of course, all you guys up in California and Colorado and even Georgia are going elevation changes. You call that an elevation change? Well, in Florida, I guess we do. Man, this course is nice. I don't know if they let the quads race on this thing yesterday, but it is not rutted up at all. I assume it will be later. Definitely a lot harder ground. I'll tell you, I'm not gonna wanna fall over too much in this stuff. It's hard pack, definitely easier to ride in. But a lot less forgiving than sand when you fucking eat shit. Okay, the dev four wheelers were out here, I can see it. Man, they didn't really tear up this course too bad. This is probably where the four wheeler course ended and the dirt bike course, yeah, this is all single track. So this won't have been ridden in before today. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is definitely what I'm used to. <laughs> Whew. The sun is shining right in my eyes and it's flickering in a way that is like on and off again, kind of blinding me, so. All right, I hear a guy behind me. I'll let him by. Definitely easy to hit a tree in this tight stuff if you're not careful, especially with the sun the way it is. 
Oh yeah, that sucks. I wonder if you guys will be able to tell how much it actually sucks in the GoPro. <laughs> Definitely a uh, dicey passing in here. That's gonna be a rut before the end of the race. Ty told me to watch out for that shit. He goes, you look for stuff that's a little rut in practice. By the time this race is going, <laughs> oh shit. By the time this race is going, those are gonna be big ruts. <laughs> this sun is brutal. I just gotta put it behind me. You go fast enough for my goggles to get cleared up. That was getting dangerous. The fuck is over there? <laughs> that wasn't very graceful. God damn, dude. Once again, my glasses are just butt fucking me. Ooh, this shit's gonna be muddy as fuck by the time this race is over. That's for damn sure. Almost thinking it might be better to not wear glasses, man. I can't even see the goddamn trees. Holy shit. Jesus, man. Are you seeing that? That's fucking ridiculous. I don't have a choice. I'm just gonna have to ride with my goggles up. <laughs> That'll end my race real quick if I take a fucking rock to the eyeball. So far, so good with my shoulder. It don't hurt at all yet. Uh, we're only a couple fucking miles in to what's gonna be at least a 30 plus mile race. Come on now, that's a good way to hit a tree. <laughs> Getting wobbly out here. See, that's what I don't like about this clutch lever. Since it's so, with one finger, it's so hard to depress completely. I end up, when I fucking really jab on the rear brake, I end up stalling the goddamn thing. Damn it. That's Midwest Clever. I'm sorry, it's gonna have to go. Luckily, I brought my old clutch lever with me. Maybe I just don't have the thing set up right. Maybe one of y'all who fucking has one can tell me how I can make this thing into a lever that doesn't need to be pulled all the way into the bar to disengage. As of right now, I'll tell you, I've got an $80 clutch lever that's essentially useless to me. <laughs> There's all these lips at the top of these hill climbs. I guess you're supposed to treat it like a jump, but god damn it. I ain't that cool. <laughs> well, that was definitely an easier and way more fun course than Indian Town. That was awesome. It felt like, like just having a little trail ride with some of my friends. Much to everybody's surprise, I actually made it through that practice lap without busting my fucking ass. Actually, this course is pretty cool. I'm really digging it, especially compared to that course in Indian Town two weeks ago. But right now, it's time to take it easy and watch all the senior classes take off. I thought there was a lot of people in Indian Town. There is way more people here. I actually saw my guy that I helped start in Indian Town taking off too. Bummer I didn't get to hook up with him and hold his bike again. He was a really nice dude. 
All right, my man over here is filling me full of hope because he only started racing last year too. This is his second year, and he just took first freaking first place. place, baby. <laughs> yeah, I've, there is hope yet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna do my best to, to to finish this time, man. How do you feel, Josh? Pretty good, man. Yeah. Just make it through without fucking fucking myself up. I'll be happy. Don't crash in the first turn. Big third now, right? Yeah. So two pretty embarrassing things happened to me during the start of this race. One, I started my motorcycle after they started releasing people, which apparently is a big no-no. I didn't know that, but still getting yelled at about that was pretty embarrassing. And then after that, I had set up my motorcycle too far forward, so my buddy Josh, who came out to hold my bike for me, he got yelled at for that. So, didn't start out this race that great. Uh, even after the race, I was pretty embarrassed about this stuff, but uh, hey, it is what it is, live and learn. So now I know for the next time. I can't see shit. This turns on this course somewhere. All right, get those nerves under control, bud. Kind of freaked me out starting in the pack like that. I mean, <laughs> that's what you're supposed to do, right? Still freaked me out. I got a feeling with my shoulder, I'm not gonna do as good in this one as I did the last one. But that's okay. You know what? Somebody's gotta come in last. Get through the first lap, bud. So I found out later that this rider you see down here actually was injured pretty severely. My friend Josh saw him get carried out on a backboard and I found out later from Ty that this dude actually broke his back and he had to go. He's still in ICU I believe right now. Uh, there is a GoFundMe up for him. I'll have all those links in the description below if you want to check that out. Uh, you're in my thoughts man. Uh, horrible, horrible accident out there that day. Come on, you got a lot of practice going through this shit back at Kroom. You shouldn't be that bad at it. I ain't exactly moving fast through here. These roots are fucking slippery as fuck, man. Helps to follow someone, so honestly, I think I'm losing them now. I try to keep this Yamaha in my sights for as long as I can. I see my friend Wes out here working the trail, and we say what's up to each other, and then I immediately crash right in front of him. Not my proudest moment. <laughs> what's up, man? It's not your fault, dude. <laughs> I was like, who that? <laughs> well, <sighs> so much for not crashing on the first lap. <laughs> Thanks, my man. <sighs> that was spectacular. I'll see if I can re recover from that, even somewhat gracefully. Oh, I gotta get my legs back underneath me. 
<laughs> mud section after having it off. Definitely not what I would have picked. Oh, shit. Come on, Josh, get back in the race. All right. <laughs> God, mother. Come on, Josh. I'm, I'm fucking around. God damn. This was supposed to be me taking it easy. God damn it. All right. Motherfucker. <laughs> that was embarrassing. I think my only hope of not getting in last place at this point is for somebody else to not finish. That was a big time suck right there. Get back in the groove. You can do it. the shit you were practicing with Ty. He knew exactly what this course was going to be like. That's why he took me on that loop like that. Are you alright, man? You alright? Alright. I ain't got no race to win. Somebody's hurt. I'd much rather fucking stop and help them and worry about what place I'm going to come in. Maybe if I was first place, I'd let somebody else be the Good Samaritan. But I ain't. <laughs> I'm a long ways from it, too. And I'm far from remembering what this track will look like, that's for sure. <laughs> in my third lap, when it doesn't count anymore, that's when I'll, that's when I'll remember. <laughs> that was kind of the deal last time. By the time it doesn't matter anymore, I'll be doing my best lap. Whoa. Come on, Josh. That was dumb. <laughs> I keep fucking up with an audience. Like every time I've messed up, <laughs> there's someone there watching me. Momentum, that's what you need, Josh. Keep up your momentum. If you're gonna catch anybody and not be last place, it's probably because somebody else is gonna wreck trying to push it too hard. And you'll be carrying your momentum. Look ahead, look where you wanna go, bud. Go ahead and let those boys go. <laughs> God damn it. I can be in my helmet. Oh, that was dumb as hell. Get off the track. Momentum. <laughs> that was an ill time stall. <laughs> it's like momentum. Yeah, right. Well, I'm glad that wasn't, uh, I'm glad my face wasn't in the way of that. That would have sucked. Come on. It's still a race. God, this crash has really fucking, really took it out of me. Using the crashes as an excuse is just that, Josh. An excuse. So stop making it. All right, you made your first lap. As for the fast guys, this is a three-lap course, or 
I'm sorry. Fast guys are doing it four laps. I want to try to at least get three. You gotta, you gotta learn to trust your brakes a little more, Josh. Even if I can't take these corners as fast as I want to, it doesn't mean I can't go in hot. I'm not doing that. I'm slowing down like way too fucking early. These brakes have got it. You can do it. It's like Honestly, my big worry is just going off the course into some unseen obstacle and busting my ass. But, hey, that's the worry for the whole race is busting your fucking ass. What's the worst that could happen? You fall down, fucking fall down and go boom, you fucking little faggot. Let's not have a repeat performance of that. I've fallen down. That was a mite embarrassing. <sighs> this whole thing's embarrassing, though. I mean, I suck so bad. I know it. It's okay. Everybody is so fucking supportive. <laughs> They're like, it's okay to suck. <laughs> Everybody's so fucking awesome being like, egging me on, cheering me on. Whoa. <laughs> Don't want to get taken out by one of those. If that had been the other handlebar, my other arm, I'd be in bad shape right now. So that motion is what fucked up my shoulder. God damn it. If you're not fast enough through here, it's because you're not fucking standing up. It's not good, Josh. I thought my glasses would be fine. I left them a spare pair with Josh so I could pit and change glasses. And I was like, nah, man, they're gonna be fine. Now, like, quarterback into the course. Like, holy shit. I really wish I'd changed them glasses. Whoops. <laughs> a side effect from not being able to see where the fuck I'm going. People racing still say, have time to say thank you. That's, that's what I call polite. Am I winning? Motherfucker out of the trail. I'm not God. Josh, you can't keep doing this. Once again, this fucking mud in conjunction with the roots is really taken out of me. Oh, those last two falls right in a row. Holy shit. <laughs> that, that was bad. I am tired. Moly, gotta get out of these woods. Keep almost losing the front end. Sorry, man. You all right?
God fucking damn it. I swear to God, I'm gonna get this bike turned around. Oh, oh boys. Like I said, somebody's gotta get last place. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be all shade tree surgeon. <laughs> Still race, faggot. Do your damnedest. Once again, I think the only skill I'm picking up out here is how to let somebody pass me. But it's an important skill if you're going to race. Whoa. That would have sucked super bad. <laughs> that would have been right on my right shoulder, too. Come on, Josh. It's still a fucking race. Ugh. You guys getting tired of me calling myself a little bitch-ass faggot yet? Because I'm going to keep on doing it, at least until I... I do a little bit better. <laughs> and maybe I'll just call myself a bitch instead of a bitch ass faggot. Although I'm sure there's plenty of gay dudes who are much better at riding dirt bikes than I am. It takes all types. There's gay dudes, there's chicks. I'm sure there's lesbians. Everyone in between, man. Dirt bikes don't care. Out here you get the you get the idea that it's just everybody is welcome. Come as you are, you know? As long as you love riding dirt bikes, man, and you're not a dick, they're gonna welcome you with open arms. Even if you're a little bitch ass faggot who can barely ride his super expensive dirt bike like me. Standing up is getting harder. Not because my legs are getting tired. My legs are still actually, at this point, pretty fresh. But um, I think I took a handlebar or a branch right to the top of my thigh. Whew, and it is making it hard to stand up. If you actually want to make three laps, you're going to have to fucking hurry up, dude. So I'm still going through these turns really slow, but at least I think they look right. Nah, maybe not that one. <laughs> maybe those other ones. <laughs> that little guy. Don't worry about that little guy. Once again, I'm glad my face wasn't in the way of that. So far, the only time I've actually been roosted is in practice. Come on. You can do it, baby. Oh, oh damn it. Oh, that was definitely my shoulder. Oh. Oh, God damn. Oh, motherfucker. Yeah, good, good. Uh. All right. Come on. All right. Get through this, Josh. Okay, man. I'll tell you right now, I'm going to pay for that one. I'm gonna pay for that one. Well, it's part of it, ain't it? You gotta pay your fucking dues, man. Paying your dues fucking hurts, man. All right. 
is most likely my last lap. Just like last time. Let's try to do it without coming off the bike. If I just try real hard and believe in myself, I can do it. <laughs> yeah, what they don't tell you is you gotta try real hard, believe in yourself, and not be a total putz. No offense to my good friend Eric Putz. Probably the best putz I've ever met. Come on, make your last lap a good one, bud. Can't tell you how many people past me I've heard thank you from. It's fucking cool, man. People out here are fucking cool. You want to take one thing away from me doing this? I'll tell you what it is. The people out here are fucking awesome. There's a lot of dudes who come out here and don't even ride. And you see why. Because they're out here, they're having fun, and the people are just like one big fucking family, man. Once again, I didn't make quite make the final lap without busting my ass. God damn it. You can do this. Finish with a little dignity. Hey, you fucking maggot. It's funny when you're literally so out of breath and you've got your breathing pace so perfectly for the amount of exertion you're putting out. That one little change, that one little change just throws it all out of whack. You know, if you talked less, you, you won't be so out of breath. But that's the whole point of this thing, isn't it? Whew. Like my old grandpa used to say, if you can't dazzle them with dollars, baffle them with bullshit. Of course, in this case, it's more like, if you ain't gonna impress anybody with your dirt bike skills, you better be able to at least talk some shit. <laughs> so that's all I got going for me. Old motor mouth, shade tree surgeon. <laughs> that's about it. Because I don't think these dirt bike skills are ever, are ever getting too much better than I am right now. So at least I can talk shit. All right, here we go, in the woods again. Yeah, those are, Josh. Those are people from C-Class lapping you. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> it's gotta be, going through this slow is better than going through it with a fucking wreck. That's what you gotta tell yourself. I mean, don't be a fucking pussy. Impossible. But going slow is better than wrecking. <laughs> this, is, this is not impressive. <laughs> there are little kids on fucking peewee bikes. You could probably do this faster than you right now. <laughs> I'm a little kid on a doodle bug. Would probably be passing my fucking fat ass right now. That's okay. As long as I get out of here without wrecking, I'll be happy. Kids passing me on doodle bugs and all. I am doing poorly. I'm not sure if I'm doing worse than I was in the last race. Two completely different courses, so kind of hard to compare them. Back in this fucking treacherous ass mud. If it was just mud, I made one thing, but it ain't just mud. Mud and fucking roots. <laughs> Number one! <laughs> no. God damn it. Oh. 
I'm off the bike, but I didn't technically crash. I kind of want to stop all the gagging. Should be a little faster than this. Going fucking grandma speeds. Of course, there are definitely grandpas out here today who are better than I am. Stands the reason there's probably grandmas that are better than me. <laughs> you could never do what I'm doing on a four stroke. I swear to God. It sounds stupid to say because it's so powerful, but totally honest, the 300 is actually a really good bike for beginners. Come out here on this motherfucker and you can lug it around in high gear. The thing's like a goddamn pussycat. The fact that I've stalled this thing as many times as I have is not the bike's fault. That's a testament to how terrible I am at riding dirt bikes. If you were on a four stroke, you'd be stalling it every freaking five minutes, the way I'm riding anyway. Come on, keep it smooth there, bud. Maybe I'll get to do four laps. I'll do it if they let me. What I lack in skill, I make up in bullheadedness. <laughs> let me tell you, man. I'm just too dumb to quit. And when you're too dumb to quit, you either hurt yourself bad enough to not be able to do it anymore, or you eventually get kind of good. <laughs> I don't know which one's gonna come first. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, having a beard makes drinking water hard. <laughs> a nice way to use your words. <laughs> water, wawa, drink hard, beer, no go. <laughs> you fucking mongoloid. Wasn't I just saying my only skill is that I know how to talk good? <laughs> well, it's my only discernible skill. That doesn't mean I'm skilled. I'm just more skilled at that than pretty much everything else I do. <laughs> so, just in comparison, <laughs> in comparison, <laughs> Joshy <he> talk good. <laughs> you fucking faggot. God, how about do a turn for once in your fucking miserable life without losing your goddamn nerve? Yeah, stick to that. Only crashing one time. <laughs> I'll just start saying that. My last lap comes around, I'm just gonna, instead of being like, I'm not gonna crash this lap, I'm gonna go, I'm only gonna crash one time. <laughs> and then if I don't crash one time, I will have smashed my goals. All right. Coming into the home stretch. Well, maybe. They might say, go ahead. Go ahead, and how about your fat ass does another lap? Which I will. I want to get my money's worth at these races. And I'll try not to crash that lap. Oh, and something tells me they're gonna they're gonna say it's over. <laughs> Holy shit. <sighs> My body is one big cramp. <laughs> oh, it's all right though. Well, somebody's got to be last. There's still people out there. Congratulations, bro. Are there still people out there? Yeah. Oh, somebody's got to be second to last. Yeah, there's the guy on the first lap that got taken off on the fucking backboard. Oh, really? I passed that dude. I was like, holy shit. Yeah. 
I heard some dude like was fucked up, man. Oh, damn. Oh, well, yeah, no, standing. What's up? Nicely done, dude. Yeah. <sighs> oh, not super happy with how I did, but that's all right. Can't win them all. Oh, or in my case, can't win any of them. 